Boy, what a day. Hello, everyone. My name is Shay64, and it has been quite a busy day today. Uh, so, uh, let's get the couple first thing out of the way right here and now. Uh, you probably saw that I uploaded a new cover today, uh, the start of the second video game daily challenge. I did one of these a couple years ago where I got 30 brand new remixes for each, uh, challenge given that day, and I'm doing that again, but this time I'm doing it in 8-bit and 16-bit style remixes to kind of change things up a bit and, uh, get rid of a lot of the backlog of, uh, stuff I have on my computer. So... Hope you guys enjoy this series. Also, in addition to that, we got some news today. We got Pokemon, we got Sonic, and we're going to talk about it. First up, let's talk Pokemon. Uh, if you've been following this channel for a while, uh, it is no surprise that I absolutely hated Sword and Shield. Um, and not a big fan of the direction the series has been going. But Legends Arceus I thought was really, really good. And this new one seems to also seem to be, so far, pretty good. Uh, so, let's talk about this. Um, it looks very nice, it's very pretty, a huge step up from the graphics of uh, Gen 8. We didn't get too many new Pokemon this time, we got five of them, uh, and two of them are the box legendaries. So first up, let's talk about uh, Pawmy, who is adorable, probably my favorite Pikachu clone since Pachirisu, honestly, love him. Uh, then we have Smoliv, which is adorable. It's a tiny little olive, and the name's Smoliv. I love it. It's so cute. And then we have the shining star of the show, Lechonk. They named the pig Lechonk. I love him. <laughs> and then, we, of course, we have the legendaries. We have Coridon and Miraidon. Both of them are awesome. However, Maridon's a fucking robot dragon. Give. <laughs> that solidified my choice for Violet being the game I will pick. Um, but yeah, they're great. Uh, it's really cool looking. Uh, I like how uh, each uh, version has a different professor, with uh, Scarlet having um, Professor uh, Sada and Violet having Professor Turo. Um, like that, pretty cool. Both have banger designs. Uh, Turo looks like the Giga Chad, <laughs> so I'm here for it. Um, and Sada has fangs, so immediate A plus in my book. Uh, then we have uh, Nimona, who is our like friendly rival, I guess, of this game. Love her design; she's really cool. Uh, and then I want to talk about something that really stuck out to me. This game has fucking multiplayer, like. Holy shit! That is huge. Um, I was not expecting that in the slightest. But holy crap, that's awesome. And of course, it is coming out on Friday, November 18th, which, par for the course, we kind of expected that. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's it so far. Um, I'm sure this is just a small tease to hype up whatever... Nintendo Direct we will be seeing later this month because Nintendo always does a Direct in June. I'd be surprised if they don't. Um, God. <laughs> um, so, with that out of the way, it's time to move on to what I'm sure you're really here for. Sonic Frontiers, baby! Alright, so, yesterday we got a small teaser trailer for Sonic Frontiers that showed off a little bit of gameplay, uh, including combat, to which oh my god, they actually are going the JRPG, uh, the, sorry, the action RPG route, which, from the combat, I got some Kingdom Hearts 3 vibes, uh, but it doesn't look as polished, but, I mean, it's probably fine. I'm waiting to see more of that. But today, we got seven minutes of Sonic just kind of running around a big open area with very little in it. There are puzzles. There were grind rails, there were rings, there were towers to climb. It was very open sandboxy, but there were barely any enemies. Uh, and that's a little concerning. Because, like, if Sonic's going to be in this big, big open world, I don't want it to be a big, empty open world. So, hopefully, that is not the case. And... I don't know. From, from the seven minutes I saw, it was very standard Sonic gameplay. 
like nothing really wowed me nothing really said oh it's gonna be the best game ever it was very just yep that looks like sonic all right take that as you will um but throughout the whole month of june we're going to be getting more information on this game including probably more uh info on the combat which is what i'm really excited to see more info on story which i'm very excited it's ian flynn um so as of now it looks fine it looks fine it's a very pretty game very pretty game but i i'd like to see a little bit more uh, because this was just Sonic kind of running around a big empty field, and that's kind of what I don't want this game to be. So, I'm a little, little concerned, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so, with that out of the way, what do you guys think of everything? Uh, are you excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Are you excited for Sonic Frontiers? Uh, who, who's, wh which box art legendary do you like more? Uh... What are you looking to see in terms of Sonic Frontiers gameplay? A lot of a lot of stuff to talk about, but yeah. Um, if you like the video, subscribe for more. Uh, I, again, I mentioned that I have a whole bunch of new retro style uploads coming up throughout this entire month, so stay tuned for that. To uh, so subscribe, stay tuned for that, and uh, hit the like button if you like the video. Blah blah blah, all that stuff that YouTube wants me to say. So yeah, that's it. Um, I will see you whenever I do another one of these. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the new covers. Bye.